How would you sing your gratitude to God? A blessed day, everyone. This is our reflection question for today. Holy Spirit, make my heart open to the Word of God. Make my heart open to goodness. Make my heart open to the beauty of God. Lauren Daigle is one of the most successful contemporary Christian music artists of our time. With multiple Grammy Awards, Billboard Music Awards, and American Music Awards under her belt, she has proven her ability to create songs that resonate with millions of listeners around the world. Her single, released on March 8, 2023, entitled Thank God I Do, is no exception. It embraces the beauty of faith and relationship. The lyrics of Thank God I Do are personal, introspective, and filled with gratitude, reflecting Daigle's faith and relationship with God. The melody of the song is emotive and powerful, matching the deep and profound themes of the lyrics. The use of a piano ballad format gives the song a classic, timeless feel, and it provides a strong foundation for Daigle's vocals. The melody is both haunting and comforting, reflecting the song's theme of struggle, faith, and gratitude. The song was born out of the uncertainty and isolation of the COVID-19 lockdowns, as Daigle realized the importance of having certain people in her life for a specific purpose. As Daigle herself explains, God puts very specific people in your life for a very specific reason. Daigle said that she wanted to write a song that celebrates the simple joys of life and the blessings that come with each day. She said that she hopes the song will inspire others to appreciate what they have and to thank God for it. Part of the chorus goes, I don't know who I'd be if I didn't know you. I'd probably fall off the edge. I don't know where I'd go if you ever let go. So keep me held in your hands. Similarly, Mother Mary's inspiring acclamation to God in her canticle is highlighted in today's Gospel reading. We are awed by the Blessed Mother's role in salvation history. We ask, what was her motivation, her secret? Why was she able to believe so firmly and to fulfill her vocation so amazingly? She reveals her secret in this hymn of praise that bursts from her heart as soon as she greets Elizabeth. During the entire journey from Nazareth to the hill country of Judea, where Elizabeth and Zechariah lived, Mary had been joyfully contemplating all that God had done in her life and in the whole history of salvation. When she meets Elizabeth and realizes that God has revealed His plan to her cousin as well, she feels free to give full expression of her thoughts and sentiments. She sings the Magnificat, a prayer that still echoes throughout the world every day through the liturgy of the Church. In its simple words, 
imbued with the prayers of the Old Testament, we glimpse Mary's vision of reality in which God rules all things with perfect power and with wisdom that stuns the vain ambition of men. Humility, a recognition of our dependence on God, unleashes the power of divine grace in the world. Those who depend on themselves, the rich, powerful, self-satisfied, the proud, impede God's action in and through them. This was Mary's secret, but it is not a secret any longer. She has revealed it through this beautiful hymn, the Canticle of Mary. Let us pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Lord God, Almighty Father, we thank you for your gift of the Blessed Mother Mary. Teach us to respond as she did when you expressed your invitation to her to be the mother of your Son, our Lord Jesus. Like Mary, teach us to be obedient, humble, and grateful that we may loudly sing of this joy for all to hear. Jesus, we trust in you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless your families, brothers and sisters. God bless our Catholic faith and couples for Christ.